Welcome to Dice Junkies. I'm Xena Damus. I'm here with Q. And on Skype. We got Blood X. All right. So but before we get into the games, um, I just saw this this morning that now Ground is going to do what me and Q have been saying they should be, have done all along. I can in now invite people to my world and you can play it while I'm offline. Oh, live world. Win. I'm going to be there then. No, because see, that was a big thing. See, I'm a, a insomniac, literally. And Blood Axe is a family man. So Blood Axe only plays like during these certain evening hours for, for sprints. And I play like I'm up all night. And the big issue was since I couldn't bring my character over to his world from my world, you know, every time I jumped in this game, I, f I was like, man, I don't have my perks leveled up. I got to, I feel like, I feel like his little dude boy, like he got to like, sir, can I please have some armor? You know what I'm saying? But if it's like Minecraft where it's a live world, oh, homie, you going to show up and it's going to be a Spartan like death base over here that looks like Fort Doom. Yeah, You're so going to have grounded, your pretty one. So Grounded has shared worlds. Um, basically, fans and family can play the same world even when the normal host isn't around. Um, so you can you can have, I think, up to, I think they said up to like 50 worlds. I think I can host up to three, but I can be members of 50. Yeah, I think we only need one. <laughs> well, uh, but this, one. yeah. But I'll, but uh, I'll be very selective of who gets that free reign access. You know what? We <laughs> might actually be able to get Zeno to show up if he can play when we're not around. You know, he likes playing by himself. He can he can carve out his own little corner and just log out whenever he sees us log in. Well, no. Look, my problem my problem was I didn't want to have to advance on his world. And this solves that. I can advance on my own, do my own thing, have my own world, and then I can jump in and play with you guys Yeah. Um, outside of that. So that is actually really cool. That fits more my play style than... Uh, and see, me, I'll just, I'm just going to have the one game play through his world because um, I'm not as worried about the story. I'll go through the story with him. Me, it's all about the grind, man. Get my equipment leveled up. I'm a character grinder. So they do release the full version September 27th, I think is when it is. Mm -hmm. I've emailed them, and they they don't have the answer to the question, but I really hope they reset the story progress. Not the world building, but the story progress, so I can start from the, from the beginning, because they've added new dialogue with Burgle and uh, stuff. Dude, you're going to need to host up a new world. Like, Go ahead and host a new one, though, for me to play with you in. I want to go ahead and do it from the beginning, try out the new combat, because how are we going to make videos a uh, playthrough video and talk about what to do first and all that if we've got an already full build. We can keep both. You can keep that one for your kids, but us, for, for yeah, Dice Junkies, let's start a brand new world so we can say this is the best weapon. Yeah. This I is mean, the well, it's best to do that come September 27th. When yeah, yeah. 1. I, 0, yeah, I agree. I wouldn't want to do it before then because they're still going to make changes. Yeah. Oh, no, I'm talking oh. about after that. Like, that's what we'll be doing vids because I want to do a survival vid that says, go get this armor first. You know, go make this yeah. weapon. I, I, I got what's the fastest way to go ahead and get the well, high level tools? Yeah. And, what's the best well, melee well, weapon to start with? Go ahead, man. That's the problem is now the uh, uh, resources to upgrade your armor and equipment are limited. They're not. Yes. They're, uh, you can't keep farming them. Yeah. The finite resource in the game is what I'm reading. So I'm like, shit. If I hadn't upgraded all my crap to level nine already. Then yeah, you would have to stop. Do I really? That is that is a little bit of a problem though, because how does that work with multiple people being it's, able to play in your world? It's finite, but I can start up a new world, load up my character, and then go to your world. I don't think you bring right? your character over. He says how it used to gear. work. You don't bring your gear. You don't bring your gear. Ooh, you ah. don't bring your gear. You don't bring your perks. You have whatever I give you. Fortunately, you make I'm an instance of your character oh, in the world. Well, so, that sucks. Remember, yeah. I was a trying to holic on this game, and I had uh, three boxes full of different plates. So I had my grub plate, my blueberry plate, and my uh, pupa plate. I upgraded everything I had to level nine. Well, before we so, leave, then I have a homework assignment for you, boss, because you've actually talked to him. You need to check with them and ask them about this finite armor upgrade, since they're allowing you to have multiple people in your world. Because that could be a huge problem. That could literally lead to if you've got five people running around in your world. They can't upgrade their armor. That that concerns me because your kids and stuff play. There may not be enough to go around for all of us then. That could be a serious issue. Yeah. I didn't upgrade their gear. Well, no, actually, I did upgrade a lot of their stuff when I was able to do it with, you know, all the other resources. 
But now that you have to find like fashion rocks and tough rocks and all that kind of stuff, I'm like, well, they, yeah, they want to play with us. You know, they love playing with us. And that's why I'm going like, I don't want nobody. I don't want anybody to be short, but you know me, I want a full armory. I'm a battle guy. I'm going to have a full army of upgraded equipment and there's probably enough for two, but is there enough for four yeah, or five? I'm hoping they flesh this out a little more. I would love, I, I wish, I wish I could bring my character. I know. Now we could do bring that. My be, oh. character. That's, that's, that's my problem is I want to bring my character into your, your world, world, not, not some carbon copy with less, well, well, also, it uh, less solves, stats. Well, no, it also solves the finite resource problem because yeah. you just upgrade your equipment in your game. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Then when you go over, it doesn't matter. You don't have to use your resources well, for me. I'll, I'll do that. I'm, it, d- it depends on why they want to have it limited. Otherwise, you know, you could go make any number of characters, delete them, and then reload them after you drop the equipment off. So, um, a, I, 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 I'll reach out to Obsidian and, and try to get a better answer. It's on a that. very simple sandbox survival game. There's no reason to worry about somebody exploiting stuff. If people exploit if, if stuff; they exploit stuff. Scroll down, scroll down, and you'll see the weapon, uh, the weapon uh, revamp, and talks about the finite, limited resources. Yeah, that, that's not the link I sent you. No, you didn't send me a link. You just sent me a still picture. Yeah, because yeah, uh, finite resources in a survival game is a bad idea when it's got multiple players. Because like yeah. you said, it could create a shortage. You can create a really bad shortage because here's the thing, too. When I sign out, my equipment on me signs out with me, though. So he can't even go get it if I don't put it in a box. You could literally not have enough equipment to go around. That concerns me. Um. I'm, I'm sure there'll be enough for at least two sets of maybe every armor. But that's concerning. Unless they're going to give you an ability to recycle equipment so that you could switch it out. You know, like, okay, I can grab a sword I've upgraded, recycle it, and get back the finite supplies to build right, something here else. Go. Here's the actual. They're, they're really yeah, that's it on the Obsidian's website. Yeah. Armored upgrade weapon changes. Let's see what they say. Oh, well, slide up. I was running this oh, sorry. So you'll notice when they've removed quartzite, leather scraps, and leather plates, now when upgrading, you will need to acquire unique, non-respawning resources called style and tough nuggets across the yard. That's my concern. It's unique, non-respawning hmm. resources. So non-respawning, does that just mean, oh boy, that sounds really bad. That sounds like a terrible idea. It does. I like That's having an opinion. assortment of weapons. Now I'm going to have to choose what I have. What, well, they better not do balance connected. changes and mess up my favorite weapon then, like you know they do in other games where then they go patch some equipment because you only can make so many. That sounds like a, not a well, good idea. Ev- everything you had in your locker, in your room, in my world, I upgraded to level nine. So whatever you had in there has been already been uh, I'm talking about, though, for new players, man. You know, like I said, for new oh, players, this puts them in a really so tough if, spot. If Zeno comes in, I'm going to have to save nuggets for him. Now, I think I did have an extra set of the roly-poly armor rank 9. Um, I mean, unless they're planning to have a huge amount of them around so much that you shouldn't run into that problem, which why do that when you could just make it respawning? Like, I don't understand how you make this work without it being a problem. Because if you're doing finite, you need to have enough for people to upgrade. There's a, okay, the game's made for at least four characters. There's four unique characters, right? And you can't repeat any. So there needs to be enough supplies for at least four people minimum to be able to have multiple sets of fully upgraded equipment. You feel me? I do. So the responding solved that problem. But by it being non-responding, now there's a genuine question of what if you don't have enough? You know, see what I'm saying? That's They created an issue they didn't need to create. I don't know why they would make that a scenario here. This game is not that hardcore of a survival game Yeah, to need that strict a resource management. I don't get that. That, that, that bothers me. I don't think that's going to work. They're going to have to, they're going to patch that out. That's going to fail pretty fast for people that are like us that are completionists. Cause yeah, maybe the normal player will have one set of armor and one weapon, but come on, but X in, my, in our, your game alone, we have every bow, you know, every element weapon in our locker and like two or three sets of armor. And that's for me and you and Mrs. Blood Axe and you know, some for the kids. Mm-hmm. 
All right. All right we'll yeah. see how it plays out. That that's kind of got me concerned. All right. Well, that's going to wrap us up for uh, this this week. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out DiceJunkies.com where you can find links everywhere we are online. And uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell on our YouTube channel. And as every week, we hope you enjoy.